What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. I wanted to keep you up to date with what's happening with the Intellivision Amico and we have some new information regarding the Start Engine campaign and what's happening with those funds. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and bell for notifications, and do me a favor and like this video if you enjoy the Amico content. Liking the videos lets me know what kind of content I should be making, and I really appreciate it when you guys participate in interaction on my channel. I don't know. Comment. Say something. I appreciate it. Anyways, so with the information we have for the Intellivision Amico Start Engine campaign, if you don't already know, that campaign has officially been shut down. And I want to say a shout out, special shout out to No Swear Gamer that kept me in the loop with this this morning with all the information that's been coming through. It's been a lot of it. Uh, they had accumulated nearly $60,000 of investment funds and then it fell shortly after closing around like $50,000. But regardless of that, about fifty to sixty thousand dollars was invested in this latest crowdfunding campaign. If my math is right, which Tommy would challenge me on, it's the fourth crowdfunding campaign. I could go through them all. I'm not going to bother doing that right now. But they've had, let's just say, they've had a lot of rounds of funding, and this latest one is no denying it was crowdfunding, and it failed miserably. Fell flat on its face. They were hoping to raise upwards of five million plus dollars. And unfortunately, they went back to the well one too many times. That lemon had already been squeezed dry. There was nothing left in it. So they closed the campaign. And a lot of people are wondering what was happening with those funds. Something I forgot to mention during that phone call that I had with Tommy, which, by the way, I've had people say that I'm making that phone call up. <laughs> Sidebar here. That would be a very impressive mind and imagination that I have to go through that kind of story for 28 minutes or however long that video was, recapping an hour plus long phone call with Tommy. So here's a screenshot of the call that transpired with Tommy. Good, I proved you wrong. You're still going to hate me. It doesn't matter. See, here's the thing with the haters. There's nothing you can say to ever satisfy you. Oh, he's an e-beggar. Shut down my Patreon. Oh, he lies. Here's the proof that I don't lie. Oh, he's just a snake. He turns on people. Well, I realized the truth and the reality of what was happening, my mindset changed. Keep hating me. I'm going to just keep being me. <laughs> Anyways, end rant and end sidebar. This is uh, an email that was sent out to Start Engine investors and was kindly posted on the Intellivision Amico Facebook page by Brian. And it says... Hi Brian, we hope this email finds you well. We are contacting you regarding your investment in Intellivision. Intellivision will not be closing on investment funds because they have decided to terminate the offering. As a result, your investment has been cancelled. No funds were taken for your investment and as such, no refund is due. No further action is needed on your behalf Please feel free to reach out to our support team here if you have any questions. Best, the Start Engine team. So we have it in black and white and green from Start Engine themselves saying that Intellivision is not keeping the funds. They've decided not to move forward with that and that they're redistributing it back to any of the investors. I believe it was like, what, 58 people that had invested or 48, something like that. Uh, money into this campaign. It is being returned to them. And this is not a minor thing. Like, I would say this is the tip of the iceberg for information of insight. We know that Intellivision has entered a quiet period where they're not going to be discussing anything publicly anymore while they're having private closed-door conversations with potential mergers, angel investors, anyone that wants to give them the time of day to talk about this cratered company, everything that has been lost over the past four years because they haven't been able to put out the system and they're in financial ruin. So they've entered this quiet period. But this little note from the Start Engine campaign gives us insight to what Intellivision is thinking right now. And it's not great. 
We'll start off with the good news, because I don't want to be fully negative on Intellivision, because I, I promised the team there that, you know, if I can find a positive angle moving forward, I would be happy to highlight that. So the positive angle here, before I go any further, is at least they're not taking the money and running. Like No Swear Gamer said in his video, they could have been complete dicks here and really scummy and slime bags, dirt bags, and, and just kept the money and then filed for bankruptcy, basically screwing anyone that invested in this campaign. Now, sure, it would probably follow it with, with lawsuits and drag that out and who knows what would have become of it, but at least they avoided all that. They did the right thing by returning the funds to the investors in the Start Engine campaign. Unfortunately, that's where the good news ends with this, though, because... We know from the documents that they filed a few months ago, or a couple months ago, it wasn't even that long ago, it was less than two months ago that they started the Start Engine campaign, where they, in the documentation they said they really only have the funds to continue operation under the conditions that they're in for somewhere between, what was it, two to three months? If they don't raise anything? They didn't raise anything! They literally gave everything they raised back, because what they raised wasn't enough to really do anything. So now... We're in that window where they're out of money. They told us in black and white on their filing for the Start Engine campaign that they will be out of money by mid-March. Maybe if you cut back everything and take back all the... and just, just skeleton crew it all, maybe, maybe you can squeeze through April and May, but point is... You're not going to be getting a console out. You're not going to be getting anything really done in these times. And even if you do, it's all kind of frivolous because you need the money to buy the, the parts to make the consoles. And they don't have most of that. Now, I will say Tommy has told me that they have purchased quite a bit of materials, which that's a fun fact, uh, and that they, they do have the ability to start putting these together. They, they just need to buy... From what I understand, the boards, which is kind of the biggest part of this thing, and they don't have that yet. And by all accounts, they don't have the money for that. So, like I said in my earlier video talking about bankruptcy, it seems like the only likely option moving forward. And that sucks to say. I, I, don't, I don't know how else to, to describe the situation, but this is the reality that they're facing. Unless Tommy or Phil, or someone, or Dave Perry, pours a crap ton of their own money into this project to keep it running, it's it's dead. It's done. They're going to file for bankruptcy and, and be salvaged for parts. Nobody's going to buy this company, as I said in my bankruptcy video. Nobody in their right mind, because who knows? Who knows going to go in there and invest in this in the current situation that's in. But nobody in their right minds going to save this company right now. It would make no sense to do that. Similar to, like I said previously, THQ. They had a lot of opportunities towards the end. But anybody that was interested was just like, eh, we'll just wait till they file for bankruptcy and pick up the parts at that point. Why bother taking on the baggage? The, what was it, five to eight plus million dollars of debt? that Intellivision is in right now, why would you come in and say, sure, I'll, I'll fund you for a few more months and, and then fund you to get the consoles made and then fund you to get them manufactured and delivered and, and put out there and then $100 out of every single console that's sold is going to go to Sadesh or Sadir or whatever that guy, uh, the worst loan that I've ever seen in my life, and then the rest of it's going to fake investors and Republic investors. It's just... There's no, there's no payout for someone to come in right now and salvage this unless they were delusional and thinking that this was going to sell 50 million consoles and, and they just make billions and billions of dollars off of it. And while anything is possible, that's just not a realistic option. It's just, it's not. I don't think it was, it was ever the case. My whole purpose for when I invested in this was to maybe... Make a couple bucks off of it. It might sell, I, I, I was hopeful, it might sell, I don't know, 300,000 of these, 450,000, 500,000, half a million of these 
would be insane. But at the price point and the games and the products offered and the unique controller and having it available basically nationwide in most stores, like it was it was a very sound value proposition early on. That's gone now. That's not there anymore. So I don't know what it would take for someone to take it on right now. I'm just I'm literally trying to think of any reason why somebody would and I, I just can't. And now that the start engine campaign has completely failed, all the money's been returned to people that wanted to invest in this, outside of somebody who works internally at Intellivision or or people that work there just deciding to work for free for, for stock in the company for the foreseeable future, there's no way this continues on. And that sucks. It really does. But there's a lot of insight in this email from Intellivision that basically proves that to us. If you put all the facts together, because I know Tommy is all about the facts and the truths, and this is literally the truths from Intellivision, and I said to Tommy, if there's something different that we can add in to change the, the thinking, to give a positive spin on this, I'm all for it. But you can't do that. All you've done is give us the legal facts so you can't be sued and imprisoned, which, good. I don't want that to happen. But the information that's available to us is you guys are out of money and you gave back all the money from the side engine campaign. You're you're up a creek without a paddle and it's not looking good. So that's the information I got for you guys today. Wanted to follow up with it because I feel like I know it's not uh, a banger of a news drop, but I feel like the insight that's provided in this was enough to prove that there was a need for this video to show that if you put all the pieces together, like most people already know out there, they're boned. And there's nothing that they can do to fix it. And if you wonder about my thoughts on what comes after that, watch the bankruptcy video that I made. I'll put it at the end of this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, you stay smashing. Smash,